Oh my god, I honestly don't know what brought me here to record this today, but <laughs> best believe I'm recording it. Baby girl, see not in the cup, my Pokeball and my Pantanus, I can get my no game of life and my asshole leader. But yeah, like, I don't know what brought me to record this game. Let me just bring this down real fast, but today we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club and my friend just like, like recommended this to me and I'm like, you know what, why not play? I didn't do my hair, it's all flat. I've been a couch potato all day. I went outside a couple of times, but besides that, I didn't really do anything. So my hair is all flat. I didn't like do it or anything, but it's all. But yeah, today we're playing some Doki Doki. Uh, new game. New game, of course. Hey! <laughs> I see an annoying. Oh, wow, my reading. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious and any attention she's drawing to herself. Ah, that girl Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making friends with today. But then, like, it all works out because you knew each other for a long time. I have a lot of friends like that, honestly. But yeah, alright, keep on. Uh, we used to walk to school together each, uh, every day like this. Uh, so when I get around high school, we would, uh, she would start sl uh, oversleeping more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, <sighs> I, almost feel, uh, <laughs> I almost feel better off running. However, uh, I saw an ideal in front of the crosswalk and let's already catch up. <sighs> However, I slept again. Uh, but I'll talk to you this time. <laughs> My girl voice is amazing. Oh, maybe. But uh, maybe but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <sighs> yeah. You said like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Soa. I thought I said my name too. Soa, your boy. Huh. Well, if people are start to stare at you for acting weird, I don't want them to think we're a couple or anything. That's fine. But did you wait for me after all? I guess you don't have <laughs> to be mean if you don't want to. Uh, whatever. Uh, what were you saying, sorry? <laughs> we cross the street together and, uh, and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled, uh, speckled with every student making their way to daily commute. By the way, so Oh, my voice cracked. By the way, so, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not. Uh, I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't even looked either. You told me you're going to join a club this year. I did. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations. We're dismissively going along with whatever she said, though. Sorry, likes to worry a little too much about me. I'm perfectly content about getting. By an average while spending my free time in anime and video games. Just like me. <laughs> I'm all good. I had to parkour until I got work out. I work out. <sighs> I was thinking about you and how uh, you, you don't know how to socialize. <laughs> Damn, you can't socialize. Very really, you are becoming a neat. Uh, your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die if I thought you were becoming a neat <laughs> in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Dang. Dang, get bodied. You trust me, right? Mm, I like how, like, I'm recording my phone screen. So it always, like, goes off a little bit when I'm, like, recording my face cam. Oh, see what I mean? Face cam problems, man. Face cam problems. Huh. Uh. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look for a club if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by a uh, carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised that I even let myself <laughs> relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little, at least a bit, if she does <laughs> exaggerate things inside her head. Alright, my reading is terrible, but alright. Uh, <laughs> alright, um... Mm. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over <laughs> It's over before you know it. Picking up my things and staring blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Let's go, I would. I'm in the anime club. Yeah, I yeah. am. Hello? Sorry? Sorry must <laughs> have to come in the classroom while I was basing out. I, I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, and so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than there's me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, you don't need to wait up for me. 
if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need someone, some encouragement, so I thought, you know, what? Uh, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's uh, cunning as to be planned about <laughs> let me all this out. Uh, I, let out, I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by the cupcakes. I'll stop by for the cupcakes, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for the cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sawyer across the school and upstairs, and a selection of the school is barely visited, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sorry, full of energy. Sorry, full of energy opening the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glanced the room around. Girl one, yo, let's be me, girl one. Oh, uh, girl one. <sighs> Let me see how you do her voice real fast. Hmm. She had like a shy girl voice. What? Welcome to the literature. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sorry, always says nice things about you. <laughs> oh, seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> ah, so uh, like, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All oh, words escaping me from the situation. The cl this club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Not not key. Hmm. The girl is a sour attitude, whose name apparently Satsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also one of the who made the cupcakes according to Sari. <laughs> you can ignore her. She she gets moody. <laughs> Sari says that quietly into my ears and then turns back toward the other girls. Anyways, this is Satsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smallest in the club. Don't don't say that. Things like that. Yuri, who's apparently uh, compared with more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping her, keep up with her like Shuri and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Monica? 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 I'm gonna say Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great seeing you again, Sol. Monica smiles sweetly. Yo, why did the girl doing that? <laughs> hmm. Why don't you know each other? We, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at, at me is genuinely feels a little, you know... You, you, what am I reading right now? I can't read. You, you, too, you, you too, Monica. Come on, sit down, Sora. We made a room for you at a table, so you can sit next to me and Monica, so I get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. S sorry, a little too excited. <laughs> then, how about we make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged for them, and Sorry mentioned it's widened, so there's a space next to Monica and Sayori. Ask you sorry, comes in the corner of your room. Uh, feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Sayori. Sasuke proudly marches back to the table, <laughs> tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated with little tiny cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of the chocolates we're using for the cat ears. Alright. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Surya grabs the first one, then Monica and I follow. Monica and I follow. It's delicious! Surya talks to her mouth. <laughs> Surya talks to her mouthful, and uh, had already managed to get icing on her face. Uh, I turned the cupcake around in my finger, looking for a single bite to take a little bite. Natsuki. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances at my direction. She was waiting for me to take a bite. I finally took, I finally bite down. The icing was sweet and full of flavor. I wonder how she made it herself. 
This is this is really mm, this is really good. <laughs> Saves my mouthful. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thinking me? It's not like I <sighs> haven't heard this. Haven't I heard this on her before? Made made them for you or anything? <laughs> I thought you technically did. Sorry, you said. Well, maybe. But if, but not for y you know you dummy baka 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 baka. <laughs> this. Just drops a couple bakas in there. Baka, baka. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns the tables on uh, me. Uh, she's carefully placing the uh, teacups in front of me, using the four sitting uh, down teapots next to the cupcake tray. You, you keep a whole tea set. You keep a whole. Oh, it's me. Wow, I keep doing her voice. You keep a whole tea set in your classroom. D don't worry. The teacher gave us permission. After all, it's a. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> don't get, don't let yourself get too intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, hmm, good reading may not be past time, but at least I enjoy the tea. I'm glad. Yuri friendly smiles at herself in relief. Monica raises her eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the, lit uh, the literature club? Um, I was afraid to answer the question. Some something's telling me I should then tell Monica that I was practi practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, so and me and Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president, as president of the literature club, it is my duty to make sure this club is fun and exciting for everyone. Hmm, Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board uh, probably be a board member of any major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. Why? I swear to God, every you know one more time, I'm dying. Well, uh, you know, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing is already arguing about the budgets and publicity and how the how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri is also not her in agreement. Hmm. Then, I'm so su then I'm surprised. There aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to get new members. A new club started. You can put it in that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of their effort to starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have worked hard and can- Alright, I'm done. I can't read all this. Let me get started juicy. Uh-huh. Right, everyone? Yeah. Look, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone's enthusiastic. Everybody just enthusiastically agrees. And such different girls and all interested in the same goal. Monica has worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about lit literature. So, 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 uh, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how I've read these past, little I've read these past few years, I don't really have any good way to entering that. Manga. Wait, time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Did someone say manga? Did someone say ma- Did someone say manga? Did somebody say manga? Excuse me? Excuse you know your boy been reading manga lately, so either, so either not, of course. Manga? But yeah, we've been reading, I've been reading a lot of manga lately. A lot. A, a, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna require it to myself, half joking. Natsuki <laughs> suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, I can't, ch I can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri said, Oh, anyways, what about you, Yuri? 
Well, let's see. Yuri's face is red, or uh, is rem, and put teacup in her fingers. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Like Sword of Online! No. <laughs> oh boy, don't, don't listen to that. Hmm. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are amazingly amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her readings. She seemed to re she seemed to reserve a timid since the moment I walked in, but, but obviously, by the way her eyes light up, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep physical elements usually Im uh, immerse me as well. <sighs> Isn't that amazing? How a writer can be so deli deliberately. Uh, take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read horror book. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something, grab some, grasp something I can relate to on a mineral level. At this rate, Yuri and I might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Really? I expected that, Yuri. For some reason, you gentle, as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if it, but if it makes me think it makes me in another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful in changing the way you look at the world, if only for if it's only for a brief moment. Yeah, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just Natsuki eyes depart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't no, say that out! And, and give it back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes are your poems. Everything about you is just so cute as you are. Sorry, sighs behind Asuki and puts her hands over her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you? Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? <laughs> no. That's clear. Cool, yeah, Breaks her eyes. Why would it? You you wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not very confident writer yet. I don't understand. I understand how Natsuki feels. Hmm, sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing um, writing to oneself. You must be writing to the open to the readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience? No, Yuri. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example for Natsuki and feel comfort until she feels comfortable enough to share hers. I guess that's the same for you, Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Let well, that sentence last for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri looks over quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write poems of your own. The next time we meet, we will share them with each other. That's the way everyone is even. Uh, um. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now we have a, f a new member, and I think it'll help us all get to know each other a little bit more and be comfortable with each other's presence. Strengthens the bond of the club, you know? Isn't that right, Solo? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on! There's still one problem. Huh? What is that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've only come forth with the being the my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Survey may have convinced me to stop by, but that never made me made the decision for me. I still have other clubs I want to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four of the girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh my god, they all look, they're like, look how sad they look. She's like, she's like, I don't want you here anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna get on there, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait. But, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm. So, you all, I'm defensively against these girls. I'm defensively against these girls. How am I supposed to make a, cheer, a clear head decision when they're looking at me like this? That is, 
It's kind of like poems that the pious I would pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join a literature club. One by one, the girls line up and lined up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been, been super pissed. <laughs> then that makes the official. Welcome to the Ledger Club! Ah, <sighs> thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think that's that. We can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Every member, tonight's assignment, write a poem, bring to the next meeting, so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once again. So, uh, I look forward to seeing how, you're, how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really impressed in the class star Monica and a mediocre writing skill. I already feel the anxiety in me, anxiety welling swelling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Jerry and Oscar can clean up their food. Hey, Soa, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sorry and I never walked home together uh, anymore because you always stay after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club and make our way home. The whole way our mind wanders back and forth between our four girls, Sori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. I will really spend time every day in school in a literature club. Perhaps I have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright! I just need one more decision, one more circumstance, and then be sure for good something I didn't even read it. <laughs> Alright. I guess that starts with the writing poem then, tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club members will like. Something that might. All right, all right. So now I want to go for the pink hair girl, only because she reminds me of a girl I'm talking to right now. If you're watching this, you know what I'm talking to. But I'm gonna do something for her. So she's always she likes cute things. So I'm gonna say kawaii, Malakali. No, vibrant, charm, fluffy, kitty, whisper, silly, cry, charm, oh, cute things. She likes cute things. Malakali, that means like nonchalantly. Or no, 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 Malakali, what does that mean again? What is that, what definition of that word? I forgot. I'm gonna just say, uh, yeah, I'll use it. Swimsuit, perfect, hair, suicide climax. Worn Destiny headphones or a pool skirt. <laughs> skirt. Please climax. Uh, stars, uh, starscape or marshmallow treasure, despair, heavenly heaven sent, awesome, cute, romance, dance, uh, infinitely, unending, uh, Robin prayer, and uh, vanilla pink lollipop. Hmm, pink. Alone, socks, lazy, joy, clumsy, un unrestrained, waterfall, misery, puppy, explode. Hmm. Unrestrained. Playground, fill, milk, skipping, uncanny, 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 of course. Uh, world, misfortune, and ambient, daydream, massacre, jump hop, disoriented, cheeks, adventure. Hmm. Twirl. Passionate, amazing. Desires, hmm, passion, love, uh, come on, really. portrait, sugar, defense, strawberry, memory, shame, clouds, fear, dream, memory, shame, secretively, pressure, strawberry, peaceful, Electri electricity, cage, briefly, candy, despite, sunset, Peaceful, empty together. All right, say fireflies, anime, <laughs> anime. Of course, yeah, I had one of those in there. Um, hmm. Universe fireworks, extraordinary. Hmm, fireworks. Pain, death, sunny, very raindrop, childhood, judgment, spinning, graveyard, heart. Uh, Doki Doki! Oh, I'm a blind player. 
Alright, Mary Jane, cheers, spark guns, beauty, loud, rainbow. I would say beauty. And last one, I will put termination, of course. Hi again, Sol. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. I'm back at it again with the literature club. I was at least. I was the last to come in, so everyone else was already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Sol. I hope this isn't too overwhelming or comment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sorry you told me you didn't even want to join my clubs. Join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if what I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't make take us seriously, then you won't see us in the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her mommy collection in her club room. <laughs> Got him. Uh, manga is literature. Swiftly, defense, defend, Natsuki puffs back to her seat. Don't worry, guys. So always gives his, even his best in having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning, my room. How dependable. Sorry, sorry. That's because your your <laughs> your room is so messy and distracting, and you almost set your house on you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Sol can become good friends too. Um. Sorry. Hmm. I usually sorry it makes oblivious seems oblivious to the weird situation she puts me into. Oh, oh, oh! Yuri even bought some some things today, you know? Wait, sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Uh, never mind. Sorry made it sound like it's a big deal when it's really not. Uh, uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Guess that means uh, to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I actually, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want me to be. Alright, well, here goes. Here he reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't know if you want to... So I picked, so I picked the book. Oh wow, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it could keep your attention if you don't usually read. We could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Uh, is that it? Is this girl being so cute that she picked out a book she's uh, ah, she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much? Gary, thank you. I'll, I'll defen definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own place. At your own piece. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expect Monica for kicking me, kicking off someone scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Suri and Monica are having cheery conversations in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense impression like she was running for some change. Meanwhile, Asuki is running, running, her, running her around in the closet. Alright, so it's been almost an hour, half hour. That's enough for today. I'll save it right here. I want to save that right here. One more time because I don't trust it. I don't know how this thing works. Alright, so I saved it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this gameplay. If you do like and subscribe for more gameplay like this. See you guys in the next episode if you want it. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.